back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I did a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be doing my interpretation of Maleficent, heavily inspired by the new movie Maleficent 2. I went to go see it in the cinema a few days ago, it is awesome, highly recommend going to see it. But I really wanted to try and recreate Maleficent myself. I actually do two versions of Maleficent in this video. I do her kind of like normal, sophisticated, tamed version and then I did this version which is the bit where she gets a little bit angry. Towards the end she has this kind of like outfit that kind of like flares over her body and stuff and I really just wanted to do like a little bit of body paint to add that in. She has like a grungy looking eye. This is my reference photo right here. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that you can't see the whole thing. <laughs> I've tried so hard to try and get them in frame but it's just impossible. They're too big, they're very tall um, but yeah you get, you get the idea. <laughs> the only thing that's missing from both looks is contacts because I don't have them. <laughs> but if you want to add green contacts to the normal version and red to the kind of angry version then by all means go ahead and do it. But yeah, I just really wanted to sit down, play with makeup. If you're just now clicking on one of my videos, hello, my name is Kiriel. I upload at least once a week, usually twice. I try. <laughs> I'd love you to join the community that we've got here. Everyone is welcome. I just come on here and rumble. Maybe try a few new products, try other things that I love, and just shove it all on my face and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm sure that would convince you to join the channel. Um, <laughs> if you did want to, all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell button and that'll hopefully notify you when I upload. I'm gonna stop rambling, this is gonna be a voiceover so you guys can just see step by step and I'll talk you guys through it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right on to the makeup. <laughs> Okay, so first up for just priming the skin, I'm using the Pore Primer by Makeup Revolution and just putting this on my most porous spots because, you know, Angelina Jolene has never had pores in her entire life. <laughs> then I'm adding a lot of coverage, again, to get a flawless base and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I did two layers of this to get the best coverage. Now onto concealer, I'm using my Berry M All Night Long Concealer in the shade Milk, doing my usual concealing. I'm blending it out with a sponge and then I also go over my eyelids and just use this as a eye base for today. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Correct Concealer in the shade C0 which is just the white shade and I'm using this to create the cheekbones. As you can see I'm strategically placing it kind of in a semicircle kind of shape and then also doing some general face highlighting with this and when I'm blending it out I'm making sure not to get rid of the harsh line where the cheekbones are because we really want them to look like they're protruding from the face. Now I'm using the Me, Myself and M -M -M Mitchell palette. I'm using the shade Monday with this fluffy angled brush and I'm going right underneath that white line that we've created and I'm just using this to add some shading and I'm blending it down so we really get that protruding effect. <laughs> Now I'm taking the shade Meh from the palette and I'm using this to add some more shading. I'm just using like a fluffy brush and applying this. Going back in with the shade Monday, I've chiseled out my jaw because again, Angelina Jolie has never had any chins in her life. <laughs> so I'm trying my best to conceal my own. So I'm just using this wet and wild brush and just contouring my jawline and my nose. Now I'm going back in and I'm just detailing the cheekbones, adding a little bit more depth underneath. It's a lot of back and forth going in and blending, adding a little bit of detail until you feel that you're finished. Now to make them really look like they're popping out, I'm using a bit of highlight. I'm using the Makeup Revolution highlight palette in the shade Gold and I'm using the white shade. <laughs> I felt like I lost my chin a little bit so I'm redefining it with a little bit of concealer and just bringing back some light to make my chin look more visible. <laughs> And also just generally highlighting the center of my face. Now let's zoom in for the eyes. I'm taking that angled fluffy brush again and I'm using this to place the color meh and I'm really using this 
to create the shape that I want. So I want to make my eyes look a little bit wider, so I'm creating my kind of crease higher than what it actually is. And then I'm just going in and blending those edges and then adding a little bit more colour to create the depth. <music> I'm taking this tiny detailed tapered blended brush and I'm taking the shade Monday and I'm deepening the outer corner and now I also tilt my head back and I take the very tip of the brush with the excess color and I really define that shape and just keep on adding until I'm happy with the depth And then I just blend the shade Mare further in about halfway on the lid. Now I'm taking the Beauty Bay 9 colour matte palette and I'm taking the white which is Coconut Crush and I'm taking it on this kind of tapered packing brush and I'm just packing that over the, the front of the lid about halfway across. <laughs> just blend in that mesh shade over top so you get a nice gradient and I'm just taking excess concealer on my sponge and just sharpening up the edge a little with it for the under eye I'm taking matte again and I'm taking that right the way across so all the way to the inner corner and actually blending it into the inner corner and that's again just to add a little bit of shadow there <laughs> just blending and now I'm taking the shade Monday again on a little angled brush and I'm really defining the lower lash line with this getting right up towards the lashes and blending that out also now I'm taking this tiny detail brush and I'm just extending the inner corner slightly with it with the Monday shade and blending that out again now I'm just doing my lower lash line with some nude eyeliner now to extend the lash line, I'm using the Conceal and Correct concealer in the shade White again with the tiny detail brush and I'm extending my inner corner to a point because that widens the eye and creates an illusion of a larger eye. So that's why we added the shadow there. Now I added some black eyeliner to my tight line and then putting on some mascara. <laughs> And with my mascara, I'm fanning my lashes out, so I'm coating them, and as you can see by here, I'm kind of pulling them to the side, and that'll create more of a cat eye effect. And then I'm also adding some lower mascara, and then I added some flared out lashes. These are Doll Beauty Selena lashes, they are one of my favourite. For brows, I'm taking the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. She has really angled brows, so I've tried to make them come to a point and sharpen up the lines a bit, although my brows are very messy, so <laughs> they don't look the sharpest. Um, but you could always go in with concealer if you wanted to really sharpen the lines. Now on for lips, I'm using Max Russian Red, which apparently was used in the film, which is awesome. And I just defined the Cupid's bow and kind of made it look a little bit more pointy than usual. And for this version, I decided to keep it matte. And now let's zoom you guys out with a little bit of magic. <laughs> I hope you guys appreciated that one. That'll be ages to edit. <laughs> Now to sort out the headdress, so I'm just putting my hair into a low ponytail, which looks so attractive, <laughs> and then I'm just adding on the headpiece, which I just got from Amazon, and then also if you wanted to you can add some wings, but I just added on a black cape, which was the worst black cape I've ever used in my life, it was from Poundland, and it was terrible, but yeah this is the final look for part one of Maleficent. On to version 2, so we lose the cape, we lose the top, I'm wearing a little bandeau instead and now we get onto the body paint. So this is the image that I'm working on and I am just going to town and just using the image as a guide using black body paint. This is just by Snazaru and I'm just using a makeup brush and just following the kind of lines that she has on her chest and using kind of stamping motions for a feathery look. 
Now I'm just going in and highlighting my body and I'm just taking the same highlighter we used on the face and aiming it on the cheekbones and I also add some to my shoulders as well because she has pretty prominent shoulders. If I feel like I've gone over the top anywhere, I take my foundation brush and just dab over the areas to dull it down a little bit. Now I'll pull you guys in again with a little bit more magic and we are just gonna darken on up these eyes. I am taking the shade Mafia from the palette and I'm literally just stamping it around the whole socket of the eye. And don't forget to tap off your brush because we don't want too much product, we want to be able to build. And just creating a lot more depth around the eyes to kind of make them look a little bit more sunken in, a little bit grungy. <laughs> I'm redefining the eyes a little bit with that white concealer again because I still want to look like I've got wide eyes. And then finally I'm going to add a little bit of gloss. We use this Makeup Revolution Pout Gloss just in the clear and that is it for the face. It's pretty simple changes, it just grunges up the look just a little bit. And here is me realizing I've been filming without my lights on, so we have to change that, guys. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, I had way too much fun editing this video. <laughs> okay, this is the finished look. Bye. <laughs>so this is the finished look it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to but you know it's all just a bit of fun a bit of makeup I was literally just playing around I hope you guys didn't mind the voiceover I didn't know how this was gonna go <laughs> so I just wanted to sit down play around with makeup and see where it takes me to be honest it's kind of like a simple look it's just like a neutral cut crease with like black kind of mixed in and then obviously the chiseled kind of cheekbones thing with red lips it's not something crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed my interpretation of the new maleficent movie would recommend going to see it i know you guys can't see the horns i swear they're here <laughs> Honestly, I these things are lethal. I don't know how Angelina Jolie does it because they literally walk through doors and stuff. They just get in the way. <laughs> We've lost a pumpkin along the way as well when I was trying to put that cape on. That was like the worst cape I've ever used in my life. <laughs> so yeah, we got a man down in this video. It's been a stressful time. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it potentially swayed you to subscribe to the channel if you did want to then all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that will notify you what I upload but yeah I think it's the best I love you and leave you I'm gonna stop rambling I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one till then bye guys